Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of 5 plus x plus cube root of 4 minus x is equal to 3. Our job is to find all possible values of x. First we suppose that let a is equal to square root of 5 plus x and b is equal to cube root of 4 minus x. If we take a square of both sides of this equation, this implies that a squared is equal to 5 plus x. And if we take a cube of both sides of this equation, this implies that b cubed is equal to 4 minus x. If we add these two equations, this will become a squared plus b cubed is equal to 5 plus x plus 4 minus x. Negative x will be cancelled out with this positive x and this will become a squared plus b cubed is equal to 5 plus 4, 9. And uh, in the original equation, if we replace this uh, root 5 plus x with a and uh, cube root of uh, 4 minus x with b, we get another equation a plus uh, b is equal to 3. And uh, if we make b the subject of this equation, this implies that uh, b is equal to 3 minus a. Now in this equation we replace this b with this value 3 minus a. This will become a squared plus uh, value of b is uh, 3 minus a whole cubed is equal to 9. Now, by using this algebraic identity, x minus y whole cubed is equal to x cubed minus 3 times x squared y plus 3 times x y squared minus y cubed. This expression will become a squared plus 3 cubed minus 3 times 3 squared times a plus 3 times 3 times a squared minus a cubed is equal to 9. Further simplify this will become a squared plus 3 cubed is 27. Negative 3 times 9 times a will become negative 27 times a plus 3 times 3 9 a squared 9 a squared this negative a cubed negative a cubed this 9 will become negative 9 at the left hand side is equal to 0. Further simplify and rearrange these terms we write this uh, negative a cubed first, negative a cubed. This uh, a squared plus uh, 9a squared will become plus uh, 10a squared. This uh, negative 27a, negative 27 times a. This uh, 27 minus 9 will become plus 18 is equal to 0. To make this negative a cubed positive, we multiply the whole equation by negative 1. This will become positive a cubed minus 10 a squared plus 27 times a minus 18 is equal to 0. Now this is a cubic equation if we divide this constant 18 
by the coefficient of this a cubed 1 if we divide 18 by 1 we get 18 and the factors of 18 are plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 6 and plus minus 9 and plus minus 18 if we check a is equal to 1 if we check a is equal to 1 in this equation then this will become 1 cubed is 1 minus 10 times 1 is 10 plus 27 times 1 is 27 minus 18 is equal to 0 and this 27 plus 1 will become 28 and negative 10 minus 18 will become negative 28 which is equal to 0. It means that A is equal to 1 is a solution of this cubic equation which means that A minus 1 is a a minus 1 is a factor of this cubic equation. So, we can rewrite this equation as a cubed. We write this negative 10 a squared as negative a squared minus 9 a squared. And we write this 27 a as plus 9 times a plus 18 times a minus 18 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out a squared in bracket left uh, a minus 1 and uh, from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 9 times a in bracket left uh, a minus 1. From these two terms uh, we can factor out plus uh, 18 in bracket left uh, a minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this expression a minus 1 is a common factor. So, we factor out this a minus 1. And in bracket left, a squared minus 9 times a plus 18 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression a minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression a squared minus 9 times a plus 18 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of a is equal to 1. And from this quadratic equation a squared we can write this negative 9a as a negative 3 times a minus 6 times a plus 18 is equal to 0. From these two terms we can factor out a in bracket left a minus 3. From these two terms we can factor out negative 6 in bracket left a minus 3 is equal to 0. And this a minus 3 is a common factor so we factor out this a minus 3 and in bracket left a minus 6 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression a minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression a minus 6 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of a is equal to 3 and from this equation we get the value of a is equal to 6. And first we found that a is equal to 1, a is equal to 1. So to find the values of x, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that a is equal to root 5 plus x. We have supposed that uh, root 5 plus uh, x is equal to a. So, when a is 1, then this will become root 
5 plus x is equal to 1 and we take a square of both sides. This square will be considered out with this square root and we are left with 5 plus x is equal to 1 squared is 1. If we subtract 5 from both sides, this implies that x is equal to negative 4. And when a is equal to 3, then this will become root 5 plus x is equal to 3. And we square both sides. So this square will be considered out with the square root. And we are left with 5 plus x is equal to 3 squared is 9. If you subtract 5 from both sides, this implies that x is equal to positive 4. Now when a is 6, then this will become root 5 plus x is equal to 6 and we square both sides. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we are left with 5 plus x is equal to 6 squared is 36. If we subtract 6 from both sides, this implies that x is equal to 31. This is first value of x, this is second and this is the third. So we have three solutions for this equation, negative 4, positive 4 and 31. Now let's verify and see that whether these solutions are valid or not. The original equation is uh, square root of uh, 5 plus uh, x plus uh, cube root of 4 minus x is equal to 3. First we verify this negative 4. So this will become root 5 minus 4 plus uh, cube root of 4 plus 4 is this equal to 3 and 5 minus 4 will become root 1 plus uh, cube root of uh, 4 plus 4 will become 8 is this equal to 3 and root 1 is 1 plus uh, cube root of 8 is 2 which is equal to 3 which means that uh, this value of x1 negative 4 is a valid solution. Now when x is 4 then this will become root 5 plus 4 plus cube root of 4 minus 4 is this equal to 3 and this will become root 9 plus cube root of 0 is this equal to 3 and uh, root 9 is 3 plus uh, cube root of uh, 0 is 0 which is equal to 3 which means that uh, this value x to 4 is also a valid solution. Now we check this uh, 31 so this will become root 5 plus 31 plus uh, cube root of 4 minus 31. Is this equal to 3? 5 plus 31 will become root 36. Plus uh, this will become cube root of uh, 4 minus 31 will become negative 27. Is this equal to 3? Root 36 is uh, 6 plus uh, cube root of uh, negative 27 is negative 3. Is this equal to 3? And this will become 6 minus 3. This is equal to 3. It means that uh, this third value of x31 is also a valid solution.